For Khadija Saleh, this job, six hours a day sewing in a Rabat workshop, is a welcome end to months of hardship and danger. On her journey out of Iraq, escaping the sectarian fighting there, she and her relatives were robbed of everything they owned. Morocco was the one country in the region prepared to help her. When we crossed the border for Amman, it was lawless and we ran into trouble. We had our money stolen, so we lost everything, our savings, our house, the life we had in our country. When we arrived in Amman, with nothing to call our own, we went to the Moroccan embassy. They really helped us, gave us a visa and gave us financial support so we could get to Morocco. Mrs. Saleh is one of 14 women refugees who have been given jobs at the Rabat-based charity, the Orient Occident Foundation. It's formed a company which makes kaftans, the Moroccan national costume for women, under the label Migrants du Monde. The employees share all the profits of the business, which gives them just enough to live on. The business was started two years ago by the foundation's director, Nathalie Frige. We have women from Afghanistan, from Iraq, but most of them are migrants from countries in sub-Saharan Africa, especially from Congo. The business is working because we have a designer from Paris who works with us bringing out new lines. People are beginning to get interested in what we do and the foundation has created a network of shops to supply through. Every year, close on a thousand refugees arrive in Morocco, and for many, the aim is to make it across to Europe. You can often see them lined up along the shorelines, waiting for boats to secretly take them across the water and land them on the other side. The problem is these boats are run by people smugglers. They're invariably rickety and overcrowded. And last October, in one month alone, 350 migrants died in two separate shipwrecks off the coast of Italy. The aim of the foundation is to stop the refugees making this dangerous crossing by offering them a livelihood here in Morocco. A world away from the life of the refugees at their workshop in Rabat are the luxury stores of Morocco's tourist hotspot, Marrakesh. 33 Rue Majorelle is one of the shops where the Migrants du Monde Caftans are sold to a glamorous clientele. What organizations like this are doing is taking traditional Moroccan costumes and reworking them to suit the tastes of foreigners. They take a traditional costume like the kaftan and make it simpler. It's still well made, but it's sold as casual wear. That suits the buyers, but it's still a charming thing to wear. The Migrants du Monde business has lifted 14 refugees in Morocco out of destitution, but hundreds of others are still looking for work. I asked whether the business could employ more. Demand is now outstripping supply, but at the moment the business is really small. I'd like to enlarge the business and recruit more women to supply that demand. Then I'd like to extend the network of shops we sell through. That will make it a commercially viable project and will allow these women to earn a living without any other support. Moroccan society is divided on the refugee issue. Some people pity them, others think they're a drain on the nation's already meagre resources. The foundation wants their kaftan project to show that refugees can, in contrast, be self-sufficient, the builders of successful businesses.